out here what I call my mechanics apiary. It's uh, my mechanics house, so why I call it that. You have some bees coming out of this hive. Four hives here. Dead bees on the landing board here. So we might have a live one there. Good bees here. Looks like we got some live ones here pulling out some dead bees. So it looks like we might be four for four out here at the Mechanic Apiary. He likes to buy the Hoover hives. And, uh, not real thrilled with the bottom boards, but uh, we'll get more into that as we go on. Um, and, uh, hope to do a whole program here of what I've learned in beekeeping over the last 10 years, this will be my 10th season of beekeeping. So let's uh, open up these hives and we'll show you some more info. Here's hive number one out here at the Mechanic Apiary. Looks like they're doing pretty well. Just tapping into the sugar. We got hive number two, ton of bees. And they're really digging into this sugar. I'm going to have to add a lot more on this hive. I like to add the sugar because it turns into a sugar brook because it absorbs some of the moisture. And uh, just rest it on newspaper there. I like to put this newspaper on top of my hives. It helps insulate it a little bit in the winter time. It's worked pretty well for me. It also tells me if the hives generating a lot of extra moisture or I have uh, moisture leaking in. Luckily I have telescoping tops here but some of mine are just migratory hot uh, lids and that tends to leak from the sides a little bit if I uh, crack it open don't let the bees seal it down. I think I just skipped over hive three. But we got bees and they were doing really well. And double deep for the winter. I have a tendency to do a usually do a, a single deep with a medium on top for winter but these I left on a little longer and left you got two double deeps and a medium on that one two deeps and a medium on that one two deeps a deep and a medium on this one so not sure how these bees got up here and died. I don't know if they were coming in from this side or not. Clean those off. Now let's crack this one. I think there's still bees in this one because I did see a couple at the landing board. Oh yeah. Look how good they're looking. Need about half their sugar. Still got a little weight to them so there should Still some honey in that. Pause it here for a moment. So what I'll do here. Smoke them down here just a little bit. It's a nice 52 degree day here, February 4th. Hopefully when these videos come together, my daughter gets them in order. Uh, beekeeping hobby is uh, involving my wife and I have two twin daughters one does not like the bees but she does like the honey and then the other one that's been doing the videos um, she likes the bees so I'm gonna add some sugar here pour it right on top just do pretty well with it. All right, I got this the nice B smart scraper. And you're able to reach in pull out dead bees. Feels like the 
bottom board. The frames are down a little low on the side. It doesn't want to pull out. Let's see how this works. Pulling out all these dead bees. Fits better on this one. Stir it up the bees a little bit. Save them a little work. But you can see what I mean about these uh, Hoover hives, the bottom boards. These are about four years old and they're just delaminating horribly. We got some plastic ones from Hillco this year at the Bee Expo. They had some great deals there. Let's see how stir the bees up a little bit. This one seems to be holding up over here, but I think this is the newest one when it comes to bottom boards. Before I get stung, we're going to call it a day. Thank you. Well, that wraps it up for today. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe. Hopefully our videos will be getting better. My daughter will be uh, filming some of these for us. And uh, maybe one of these days I'll get on camera.